We back with DC strats for Replacer King. This season, HRT Barry are upped, and it's nine, minus 90% crit to all mechs, meaning no A Sigma this time. Luckily, this means we get to use Mia. Her ult is a very high burst ult, and it comes in handy here. I will be going over the mechanics of the fight, some tips and tricks, and show a seal Vivian run, as well as a budget 0% manual run. All of this will be timestamped, which you can find in the video description. So let's go ahead and check it out. King is a tower type unit that spawns defenders and adds throughout the fight. The ranger adds will target the farthest thing in the back and the defender ad will use a special to knock back your front line or anything in front of it. So you see here Gabriel, not Gabriel, Raph is tanking and then Gabriel will take over. King himself won't do attacks, his basic attacks, until something gets into range. They do do a hefty amount of damage, and after he loses a third of his HP, he'll do a move that can knock back enemies. King special, indicated by the blue bar under his portrait, top right corner. It's a full map attack, and it does ridiculous amount of damage. King's ultimate, indicated by the purple or pink bar underneath his portrait, will do a full map laser beam. Alright, time for some stats for nerds. So, Placer King's gonna have 1 million HP, 1.6k defense, 1.9k hit, and 565 evasion, meaning your tanks will need at least 1,035 or more evasion in order to dodge this boss. And your DPS are going to need at least 1,060 or more hit at 100% evasion or 530 hit if you shred the evasion by half. So the biggest tip this season is going to be Mia's ulti. You want to use her ulti, then use everything. It takes six seconds for her to actually use that ult, so you have some time to be able to do other things. King Specials is only one hit, so you can sit there and use units like Jushiun or Ella to counter it, protecting your team. Since King Special is only one hit, you can also use shields to protect your team, as you see from AGS Special here. Mods I'm using for this run, as we see, we're running a 75% here. Now the enemy unit attack is plus 50%, allies HP minus 50, ally attack minus 50, ally A speed is minus 40, the skill haste is minus 40, and we're taking the minus 30% deployment resource gain. The only thing I didn't touch was the, unit, the enemy unit's HP, which you can adjust that depending on how far you want to take your score. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off tossing Linji in, in the very back, and then we're gonna sit here and wait a second, and then deploy Nicole and Yang forward. That way they're not being targeted by Ad. Now we use the Tempest S1 in the back, just just to sit there and change targets off of Linji and make her a little tankier. Now we do want to sit there and delay our Mia deploy just because of Vivian and it becoming a little annoying at the end to try and make sure to fit her, you know, not run out of timer. Now we can deploy Seal in the back and Jushin forward so that Jushin will sit there and counter as well as, you know, protect your team. Seal won't run up too quickly. Now, once we pop everything, we want to sit here and use her, use Mia's ulti and then use Seal's ulti because Mia ulti takes freaking forever. And then we just one shot the boss. Mia taking top damage because why not? Gear used for this team. 
Now, for Lindsay and you want to put as much CDR on her as humanly possible. I have 80% on her. And since the majority of the damage that she's tanking is from those stupid little ads in the back that shoot the farthest target, she can actually get away with the Hummingbird Hands with range damage res. For Mia, since the boss is a counter, we can actually run Volcano Gear and throw as much anti-counter latents as possible. Now, anti-tower, attack, attack, both work, um, as well as any attack, crit damage latents will help her as well. Nicole, you just want to sit there and either do anti-defender all the way, just anti-defender sets, attack, attack, whatever you can just to output the damage. Her only job is to absolutely murder that defender ad that has a ton of HP. So you want to sit there and throw either that on or what I did was a special damage amp set with crit damage, attack, latents, and such. Yang, just the standard tanky CDR build, works fine for her. Jushin, you can throw whatever gear you want on him, it really doesn't matter. He doesn't do anything. His only job is to counter that one skill. You can use Ella, but that's a little bit more RNG, because you need her to run in front of Seal and Seal to stay behind her, but you need to deploy Seal as soon as possible, so that gets a little tricky when using Ella. Jushun, you can forward deploy, so it makes it a lot easier to deal, deal with that mechanic. Seal, you want on CDR. Just straight CDR. Try to make it tanky if you can, but you want her on CDR. You need her to get her ulti as soon as possible to try and get that ult out before Mia can ulti. And then Soyu and I just have on attack speed with skill haste. Her, her, her gear doesn't matter either, really. Uh, it's helpful, but... You just want her deploying as fast as possible. For the ship, I'm using Tempest. I do have some special skill damage amp for counters, which doesn't really help. But I do have counter range damage and sniper anti-ground damage on this, so that helps. And then Vivian's the operator. Okay, so we want to start off by putting Hilde and Lingian in the back here. Now, we're going to forward deploy Gayun, but because of her special, it kind of sits there and mispositions her in a bad place. But since she's up, she can take a few hit hits until you get Shinatsu out to tank. Then after that, we want to get Mia out as soon as possible. Whether that's by Linjian's ulti or by just getting DP. Which seems we get the DP here, so then we pop Linjian's ulti, deploy Tarask in the back, and go ahead and use Gayun's ulti here. She'll get it back later. Just to take out that ad as soon as possible. As soon as you can, ulti on Shinatsu. Not that you really need it, but it does keep her alive a little longer, which keeps your Mia alive longer, which is very important here. Now we want to get Soyun as soon as out as soon as possible. And as soon as we hit this ulti here, we want to use it Detroit S2. Don't worry about the lane. That Detroit S2 lasts for like 12 to 14 seconds or something like that, and you'll have plenty of time. And then look at that. Getting an ulti again, just in time, so we can sit here and try and push for the last little bit of damage that we need. Might as well use, you know, Linjian's ulti, because why not? And we get 11... 11... Ugh, I can't speak. 11-342. And then Mia actually taking top damage again this time. Unlike my auto, where she didn't. That's because we're allowed to line things up. Alright, so... The team's going to be pretty much the same. I did make some adjustments since I'm able to manual. I'm using New Detroit because it comes with a 50% death break. And I changed out Sky for Tarask. Tarask adds another 20% death break. So it's helpful here for lining up everything with Mia's ulti. Now, the gear is going to be pretty much the same. But don't do this. I'm just, this is just an example of... It doesn't take that much to sit there and kill this thing on 0%. Your gear requirements aren't that high. So, I mean, if as long as you sit there and put the, you know, CDR on Lin Jian, put damage gear on Gayun. same thing for CDR for Chinatsu, Tanky would be better because, as you saw, she ends up dying in the run. Tarask, I just threw something on. Uh, looks like ground res. So it wouldn't die and we can have our 20% but I don't think that's really necessary here 
Jushiun, we want on whatever because he's just on account going to counter once. And then Mia, you put your best DPS gear on. Anti counter, anti tower, attack, attack, crit damage, anything that just gives her as much damage as you can fit on her. This is clearly not my best gear. And then Soyun, you can pretty much put whatever you feel like. Uh, I tend to go tanky because I deploy her in the very back, so little adds end up shooting her instead of my other units, and she can take a few shots with that. Now, granted, my new Detroit is a bit cracked. Uh, it's definitely good for counters and snipers, but that just comes with the game. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this helps you improve your scores this season. This fight has a bit of RNG. There are three key points, both Nicole's specials on the Fender's ads and Mia's ult. It may take a few runs to get the kill, but always restart if Nicole doesn't crit her first special. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're feeling extra special, you can join the Mage Army by clicking the Join button. You can catch me on Discord. Link will be in the description. And if you want to help support this channel, you can find a link for the description for that as well. As always, I will see you all next time.